Welcome to day 431 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. Remember these videos are being sponsored by NFT Tech. They are an investor in DSOFI. So it's another day and we have a lot more news about Dow Dow. Of course, Dow Dow has been stealing the headlines on DSO as of the last couple of weeks. And yesterday was no different. Uh, Mossified said that they're actually starting backend API work for Dow Dow that's gonna give us a real time feed and trade history. So you're gonna to get to see a real time feed of all of the trades. And you're also gonna be able to see the trade history, which I think pretty much everyone who's been trading Dow coins on Dow Dow have been asking for. Yeah, it's important to be able to see that information, especially when making a technical uh, decision when investing or buying a Dow coin. Uh, it definitely helps knowing what other people have paid for it and at what quantity they have paid that price for in the past. So this is definitely something that's needed, uh, especially for those who have the trader mindset. Yeah, I, I mean, you need to know the volume that's being traded currently as things are currently the way things are, you just see the bid and the ask, and you can't even tell if trades are going through. I mean, I guess you can kind of follow and see if the numbers are getting lower in the quantities. That are, well, you can look or, at the graph too to see like what prices they have sold at. So yeah, but you I mean, don't know if it's be, one coin selling at that right. price or a million coins. So exactly. it, it makes it hard to really track price and kind of like come up with any kind of technical analysis of the trading. So so this is great. I you know I think we all kind of assumed it was coming, but it's good that they're currently working on that and they're going to working on it. Going to be working on it this week. But outside of Dow Dow and the core team of DSO, Alton Base is also working on some uh, interesting things. They're working on a Dow Dow order history book for each Dow, and that's going to include daily trading volume uh, as by users as well as top performing Dows. So that's going to be interesting to be able to see that data. Alton Base has been doing great things with all that data, so I'm looking forward looking forward to that quite a bit. Yeah, I, I, I am too. Uh, obviously, like I said before, we, we do need something that can kind of provide that history of trades. So uh, Nikolai is doing a great job, and I'm sure he's going to probably have something up pretty soon. Yeah, and so tomorrow is the big day for Dow Dow. The public opening of the beta version of Dow Dow launches. So up to up until now, only if you have the password, if you're an NFT holder, are you able to trade on Dow Dow, buy any DAOs, sell any DAOs on the platform. But starting tomorrow, I think it's 3 p.m. Eastern time, it's going to be open up to the world. And anyone can come on and begin trading Dow coins, can come on, create their own DAOs, can come on and help fund other DAOs. And Mossified also said that Invest in Digital, who's DSO's growth marketer, is going to be doing a huge PR and marketing blast this week. Uh, he said that a PR blast is coming on Wednesday, so that's tomorrow, so there's going to be a PR blast. He also said that every time we will launch a new coin to support, such as ADA, which is Cardano, they're going to be hyping up that coin and hyping up the communities that go with it. So, you know... Cardano has such a strong following, you know, as soon as Dow Dow allows for deposits and trading using Cardano, their communities are going to get into it and be like, wow, this is a really cool new platform for DAOs. So that, that's exciting. Uh, Mossified said that we will do this over and over again for every new coin that's added. So it's not just going to be for Cardano. They plan on adding other coins as well, and they'll hype it up and like get those communities tied to those coins excited about Dow Dow as well. Yeah. And, and I think one thing that's different between this launch of Dow Dow and the launch of BitCloud back in March of 2021 is that they actually have this really cohesive marketing plan. At least it seems like it. And they, they kind of have this timeline of when they're going to be issuing press releases, when they're going to be working with other communities to try and drive people to DSO and to Dow Dow. Uh, things like this can be huge because each and every crypto community around a cryptocurrency is is incredibly strong. And when they see when they see a new project launch that accepts their currency, they get pretty excited about it. Exactly. And that shouldn't be any difference with Dow Dow. Different with Dow Dow when they start bringing allowing for Cardano and, and all these other cryptos. So it's definitely a good strategy in my mind. 
yeah, DAODAO is essentially crypto agnostic. You don't need DSO. You can use right. Ethereum. You can use uh, Doge. You can use Bitcoin. But when it when everything comes back to it, it's being run on the DSO blockchain. So it's still going to have these huge benefits for DSO. It's going to you know bring people into DSO. They're going to find out about the blockchain and what can be done on the blockchain. It's going to bring developers in to build on the blockchain. So it's great in that it's you know opening the doors to basically the whole crypto world, but it's bringing people into DSO. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, Mossified, uh, he gave some more information in a reply to Doodles on Discord. So Doodles uh, Doodles seems to be pretty excited about DowDow in the short, short term, at least. Uh, he's been active on the DowDow Discord. And he, he just made a simple post on Discord, and he said, Quote, imagine a vote of confidence on the new fund on this new funding model from I don't know, the person who started Angel List. And for those who don't know, Angel List was started by a man named Naval. Naval is actually on DSA. Um, but I replied and said, Naval doesn't endorse anything, but they showed Dow Dow to him and he loved it. Uh he said that Naval is going to be great uh, for deal flow access. So it appears that Naval is happy with what he sees with DowDow and might be kind of get into the mix uh, on deal flow access. So, so we'll see what happens there. Um, I, I, I love the idea of Naval having, having uh, been told about this and, and loving it. That's definitely something that has me more confident, but uh, yeah. What exactly is deal flow access? So I, I, you know, I, I'm not sure the way he was using it. I'm, I'm guessing he means like, like access to investors, perhaps. So maybe as other DAOs launch, maybe he, he's good at providing access to VCs or to people that might have interest in investing. But don't quote me on that. It's just kind of what I take from the statement, and I could be absolutely wrong on that. So here, here's the definition of what a deal, what the deal flow process is, and I'm just, I'm just reading from Google. Deal flow is a term used by investment bankers and venture capitalists to describe the rate at which business proposals and investment pitches are being received. Rather than a rigid quantitative measure, the rate of deal flow is somewhat qua qualitative and is meant to indicate whether a business is good or bad. So there you have it. Uh, yeah. But so the active traders list on DSO has been updated, or I mean on DAO DAO has been updated. Now, if you go to any DAO, you're going to see at the very top right on the trading section of that DAO, you're going to see that a few a few icons representing different traders. But now you're also going to be able to click on a number that's next to them. So it, say there's a hundred people trading uh, DAO DAO coins on DAO DAO, you're going to see the number plus 100 or plus 92, you know, in addition to the ones that are already shown, it's going to show the entire list of those people who are trading and they're ranked by the bid size that the number of coins, the bidder ask size of the number of coins that they are trying to participate in. So if let's say, you know, I think right now, uh, Vishal Guya is at top because he's trying to trade trade like 33 million coins or something like that. So it's going to be ranked in order by that. Uh, I think it's really cool. It's also, I think it's a way to kind of figure out who's interested in this DAO. Yeah. And I mean, it, it can't be taken at, totally at face value because there could be some really low bids or really high ask. So maybe those people are just kind of sitting there just in case the price comes down or goes up or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good piece of information to have. Uh, you can kind of, you don't have that in the stock market. You don't see which, which bidder is bidding what. You only see the market makers and what who you're routed to a market maker, basically. So you can't see like, oh, Elon Musk is bidding on this or, or Steve Jobs, when he was alive, was bidding on this stock. It, it's just, it, or Warren it's just an Buffett's, added piece of Or Warren Buffett's unloading this many shares, you know? Right. It's just an added piece of information that, that could have some value, especially as we move forward. Yeah, I think it could be have tremendous value. Like say, you know, these certain figures become uh, top traders on Dow Dow and they kind of make the name for themselves or maybe they had a, had made a name for themselves trading crypto or 
stocks in the past, they come on and people would people are going to follow and try and figure out, you know, what are these guys doing? Maybe I should be following him or her. Yeah, I mean, we mentioned Naval. What if Naval came on and he started buying up specific DAOs? Maybe he started buying the Overclout DAO, and everybody would be like, "Oh, Naval's buying it. It must be a good deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in on this." So it definitely has that potential to kind of create that follower mentality where investors follow their their favorite investors. So speaking of DAOs. MP3 just announced that he is taking Nametrade, the root of the DAO. So Nametrade is becoming a DAO. Of course, Nametrade is a platform that MP3 has built to allow users to buy and sell DSO usernames. The value might not be here right now, but in the future, it has a lot of potential. And he's making this a DAO. He's launching the DAO uh, tomorrow, June 1st at 11, 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is 2, 11 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, early access users of DAO DAO private beta will have an opportunity to buy into the, their first round of funding one hour before the official public launch of DAO DAO. So if you are a private beta user of DAO DAO, you're going to be able to buy name trade DAO coins, help fund them one hour before the rest of the public even gets access to DAO DAO. Uh, they're looking to raise $10,000 in this, launch, in this uh, funding round. It's called the friends and family round. The starting coin price is going to be three cents, and it's going to increase by 0.1 percent for every $100 invested. There's going to be a 10 percent reserve rate, uh, which goes to the DAO, and a 2.5 percent referral bonus for anybody who wants to refer their friends to the DAO. Uh, the round's going to last all of June, so it's it, you know there's plenty of time to raise the funding. Uh, they also have a Discord. You can check out their Discord. If you look at the post above this video on DSO or below this post on YouTube, you can get all the additional details there. Yeah, I, I like what MP3 is doing here. Uh, I, I think he really thought out kind of the, the round and how that's going to work. And I, I think the fact that it's increasing by 0.1% for every $100 invested and the round's at $10,000. Uh, it's So by the end of the round, it'll only be about 10% higher, but it will be higher. And and I, I think that's actually a, a pretty good strategy. Um we're gonna try. We're gonna try and have MP3 on our show tomorrow. Actually, uh, Ed might not be here. He has graduation for his son. But it might just be me and MP3 talking about Dow Dow and talking about name trade and what he's doing with that Dow. So I'm looking forward to that if we can get him on. I will not be replaced by MP3. He might. If he does a good enough job, I might take him on as my partner. He can yeah. be part of the Crash and Sign account. It, it's going to be interesting to find out about the tokenomics of name trade. Like how like. If, is 10,000 going to give you, know, you know, all those coins that are minted from the 10,000? Is that going to be ownership percentage? Is he keeping a certain percentage for himself? I'd like to know more about that. Uh, because- yeah, and, and I don't know if it's on the Discord. I didn't have enough time to really go through it all, but I'm guessing tomorrow uh, he'll kind of lay it all out and let us know. I, I really think name trade has a lot of potential. Uh, so, you know, like if you are getting equity in the business and a good amount of equity by buying into i think it could be a really good buy so yeah I looking into the future and to seeing like what DSO is going to be in the future right uh, but over DSO also is launching a doubt and over DSO is currently working on a beta mode uh it's actually the node that's behind Overclout. for those who are aware of Overclout. it's 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 node as a service that's what over DSO is it offers access to APIs and extends the DSO protocol with extra social features. And it also provides API endpoints in addition to the other endpoints that are currently available, uh, allows for longer rapid development for other developers. Uh, currently, Overcloud uses it, like I said, the first round goal for this funding round is going to be $25,000, which they, which they need in order to uh, finish building over DSO, allow it to be scalable and stable. Uh, they want the stable production version. Uh, this DAO also launches tomorrow, June 1st at midnight UTC, which is technically tonight Eastern time. It's 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight on DAO DAO. So definitely check that out. Again, the link is posted above on DSO below on YouTube. Yeah, uh, another great project, uh, Don Harmon and team. That I, I, I think that... Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of really nice, really, really, uh, I guess you could say, uh, 
exciting DAOs launching over the course of the next several weeks, ones that actually have potential to to go up in value as the DSO ecosystem grows. And I, I think Overcloud's one of them. Uh, and and I, I like how it's kind of separated from Overcloud because they are kind of two separate projects. Yeah, exactly. Um, so here's a question, and it's a it's an odd question until I jump into it. But did Dow Dow solve the verification problem with monkeys and gorillas? So right now you're probably like, what the what the heck are you talking about? But, I don't. I I'd like to just say I don't think they solved it, but I think they provided one solution that could be used by yeah. certain nodes. Well, so, so let's get into it because that question was pretty vague and probably confused a lot of people. But Natter made a post saying, "Social investing is the future. Who needs blue checks? Are you a monkey or a gorilla?" And what he's referring to is that if you view people in Dow Dow who are trading, uh, you'll actually see some of them have monkey icons and others have gorilla icons next to them. And some of them don't have anything. So the way it works is if you have $10 in assets uh, in your DSO account, uh, you will get a monkey icon next to your name. If you have $500 of assets or more, you'll get a gorilla icon next to your name. If you don't have, if you have under $10 and you don't have any icon, but the way the way it works, and when I say assets, assets equal total wallet balance plus the creator coin locked. And I believe that means your own creator coin that you own. Uh, so for instance, like no, we I actually transferred our creator coin to our KRA wallet account. So we don't really have any of our creator coin. No, 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 but I, I think it's, I think it's all creator coin that you own. All creator wallet. coins in a wallet. Is that what you're thinking? I believe so. Okay. So, so, so that makes, that makes sense. So. So the question is, could a future could a future node verify anyone with a certain amount of money in their wallets? Uh, and is that really the way to go about it? And, and I think that's a good question. And from, from what I've seen, like Elon Musk has the same line of thinking really, because he's put forward a proposal, I believe, where he wants to actually charge a monthly fee to users to have to get verified. And this fee would be charged on it, like an ad you had to pay for a year in advance so that you know that you're not, you're not actually having bots coming on board, paying a couple bucks and getting verified. It'll cost like 20 some dollars for the year probably. But he has the same line of thinking. Money is actually the way to fight against bots and fake accounts because you can, you can do, so, if you're putting money forward, you're likely not a bot, but what Elon's doing also is when you pay with a credit card, you're actually verifying your identity because you're using a credit card with your identity. This is a little bit different, but it's it's somewhat of the same line of thinking. And I think that in some cases it can work as a sort of like pseudo verification process. Yeah, you, you know, like it's not actually verifying you, that it's not verifying that you are who you say you are. So, you know, I could say um, uh, Bill Gates, create an account at Bill Gates, Put five hundred dollars in my wallet. Deso can't really do anything to you know ban me for that. So I could have this gorilla next to my name claiming I'm Bill Gates, but people don't you know people don't know am I really Bill Gates? So it's not going to verify you are who you say you are, but it does verify that you have skin in the game. You know you're putting money up behind your name. You know I don't know if this is an overall solution. I think it can be used for platforms like Dow Dow. It makes sense on Dow Dow. But, you know, I still think we need another type of verification process. And I really do like verification by associ association, which I know Natter's talked about in the, in the past and it was coming, but I don't know. I don't know what the latest status on that is. Yeah, it, it's basically, it's, it's not verifying your identity. Um, and so, in some cases, identity verification is important. In other cases, it's not. And, and there's going to be totally anonymous people here on DSO. Uh, that's what's great about the blockchain is that there is anonymity if you wish. Uh, but in some cases, if you are running, say, a DAO, a major DAO, and you're somebody of semi-importance, you might want your identity confirmed and associated with the DAO because that identity could maybe add to add to the, the legitimacy and the trustfulness of that DAO. So I, I think there's going to be different use cases. This is a start. It definitely helps somewhat. It's going to help weed out some of the bots, I'm sure, 
But uh, ultimately, I think there's going to be need to be other solutions for other applications and stuff. I still think it should be a whale icon for whales. You know, you have monkeys, gorillas, and I think how about like whales. five thousand dollars or more can be a whale. Yeah, or even fifty thousand, something crazy. Anyhow, congratulations to William Laurent. He has been voted in as a seventeenth member of the DSO community now. Congratulations! Well, let, let me give you a congrats. Of, he's definitely going to play an important role in the DSO community now. He now joins Darian Parrish, Sandy Rose. Goldberry, Daniel Wilson, uh, Misty S, Wondolinsky, Darisha Vire, Tyne, Us, Krasenstein, Michelle Lord, Randier, Gabby, Mr. Triplett, jo jo John Jordan, Stargeezer, and Grace Base Me. And there's he forgot Daniel member. Wilson. I think he skipped over him. No, I said Daniel Wilson. Oh, I said okay. him before. But so there's 17 members in the DC community down now. 13 more to go, and then it's going to be set at 30. Yeah, and and Williams Williams amazing. Uh, he's an OG of of DSO. We've got to meet him uh, in LA when we went a couple months ago. Uh, great person, uh, really smart guy, uh, doing a lot of great things on DSO. Great artist, uh, great writer, great everything. <laughs> yeah, so so Zirkles has a couple announcements. Of course, Zirkles is being run by by Tony Lewis and Dennis H. Lewis. Uh, created using DSO no code. They're set to introduce their AMPS coin today, A-M-P-Z today. They didn't say coin, but it looks like a coin. They showed an image of a coin. They're set to introduce AMPS today. And it, it appears it could be some kind of token or coin that you're gonna be able to earn using your Zircles and also use on Zircles. So we don't know exactly what it is, but it is gonna be announced today and they're gonna have more details later today. Also this week, Zircles user dashboard is going to be updated uh they previewed it in a post uh, again you can see it above or below uh it appears to show all the articles somebody has either created or maybe part of their uh, uh profile and these articles are going to show views the author the score and their earnings as well as the publication status next to them it looks really cool it's it's very it's a very nice ux I'm um, looking forward to it. And Natter also made his first post on Zirkles yesterday, and he was talking about how much he really loves it. So congratulations to the Zirkles team, Tony Lewis and Dennis H. Lewis. I think you're really progressing well, and I think you're doing exactly what this community needs. Yeah, and and I'm I'm wondering if they're going to use use the DAO system on DSO to to launch this coin, or if it's going to be through some other process. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what they do here. Yeah, that's that's an interesting idea. Like, use it on Dow Dow. So, because it's coin, basically you're creating your own coin, you know, like yeah. like Dow coin. So, so it's very possible they could use that, but maybe maybe they have a different strategy. So, I don't want to jump the gun. Yeah, exactly. So, what were the top hashtags over the last twenty four hours on DSO, Brian? Yep, all ones we've seen before: uh, NFT, DSO, Dow Dow, crypto, and photography. So, Dow Dow has been up there quite a bit lately, and rightfully so with the with the price jumping up to what did we see like like 15 cents it was uh, close to that like and, and then dropping back down a little bit what where's it at now like around 10 cents or so uh, i'm gonna check right now but so yeah like i mean we saw it jump up significantly yesterday and right now it's it's hanging out at around it's the ask is 12.7 cents and the bid is 10.6 cents so right around 11 cents or so uh it did over the last 24 hours it did reach a peak of about 14 and a half cents at one point uh, and after that it fell it fell actually all the way down to 10.3 cents like i said it stands at around 11 cents or so right now but there's a lot of activity going on tomorrow's a big day because whatever the trading price whatever the midpoint price is between the bid and the ask tomorrow at 3 p.m eastern time is what it's going to be funded at in the funding round that launches looking to raise a hundred thousand dollars and that funding round is trading along a bonding curve that could see it increase by two and a two point five times if it reaches a hundred thousand uh, dollar funding goal so it's gonna be interesting but we're also gonna have this trading platform on the side that's you know if the price drops below what it is on the funding round people are just gonna buy on the trading platform so it's going to be a really interesting dynamic that I'm excited to see how it works. Yeah, and, and we don't know. Like, is, Are people going to try manipulating the price in the final minutes to either push it down or push it up? Uh, I'm we sure. don't know because 
that final that final price is going to term, determine where the bonding curve starts. Doodles actually gave a really good suggestion, but it's too late for this. Uh, he said that they should actually average out the price over the final six hours because then manipulation would be a, a lot less likely. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, either way, I think the market will reach equilibrium based on demand and supply. So I don't think it's too much of a concern, uh, but, but we'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm excited. Yeah, so who were the top diamonded creators on DSO yesterday, Brian? Yeah, so thanks to Altenbase, uh, the top diamonded creators over the last 24 hours were Natter, followed by us, Krasenstein, uh, followed by Regina Marie, MTK Matt, Koami, Kakosera NFT, Oim Longs, Happy Rabbit, John Jordan, and Diego Robot. So congrats to all Congratulations. of them. Congratulations. A lot of familiar names up there lately. Uh, so there's three community events today, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Crypto Talks with Darian Parrish on Chime In. I know it's a little late for us to be talking about this because this video is going to be started released after 10 a.m. Uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Antra is a Dow Dow walkthrough by John Jordan. Uh, that's going to be really interesting to attend, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Antra, that is. Uh, and 2 p.m. Eastern Time, DSO Meetup in VR Alt Space with Wildography and Daryl Gold on in Alt VR. So... Definitely check those out. And tomorrow is a big day. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I probably won't be here for the video tomorrow, like Brian said earlier. Uh, my son's not actually graduating. It's some sort of open house school thing that I that he wants me to attend. So I'll be there with him, and you, you're probably going to be by yourself, Brian. Well, MP3, hopefully, is going to be here with me. I'm yes. counting on you, MP3. All right, everybody have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.